What's up, everyone? I'm 101 Chris. That's the X Man, and that's Perry. And this is WR Weekly, your source for everything happening in the WR Pro Am League community. We love that you're tuning in live on Twitch, or if you're catching up on WR's YouTube channel. If you haven't already, give us a follow on our Twitch platform or subscribe to our YouTube channel. But like always, it has been a week, so let's get you caught up. First, before we bring in our guest, I just, I have to point this out, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first time all three of us have been together on WR Weekly. X, Perry, is that right? It is, it is, it is. Very exciting stuff, man. You know, me and, uh, three me and X, here, man. We, uh, we've uh, broadcast together before, and then it was, man, your first time. That was the first time all three of us uh, get together. It's going to be a treat for the community, man. Yeah, I'm excited. Obviously, th this is our technically this is our fifth ever show, uh, our first ever double header. And so to have, you know, I, I've had my kind of experience with each and every, you know, with both of you. Uh, and now to kind of have your thoughts and your questions and, and your personalities kind of bouncing off each other at the same time here. Uh, it's almost like I'm a guest. I'm, I'm in for a treat. So this should be good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This is going to be fun. Okay, so perfect. And, and, you know, I just mentioned that this was our first ever doubleheader on WR Weekly. Uh, obviously, a very exciting FIBA episode. But just to take one minute to address before we give the spotlight to the countries that we have in tonight, um, I just want to talk about what's happening within the WR community this week. Obviously, the much highly discussed, highly anticipated UPA event in Dallas for 30K LAN event the best that the community has to offer will converge in on Texas to duke it out for that unified crown. Guys, it's, we're that much closer. It's not too far off. You know, how, how exciting is this for the community? It's crazy. Um, I think F tweeted yesterday that we have, you have 11 more opportunities to, to get in. So, I mean, as we get closer, the chances are diminishing and no one wants to play in those vaunted best of one so it's it's exciting stuff uh, i couldn't be more excited to where we at in the community and the direction that we're going so i feel like wr is a big part of that and i'm just happy to be a part of that x kind of throwing it to you here just moving from the upa back to wr home base there's a lot happening in wr this week um and next week and for the foreseeable future uh we're in the middle of the wr seasons with playoffs actually beginning next week. I think the brackets are going to be announced on the 26th with the first round starting on May 27th. It, it, only, it didn't seem like too long ago when we were kind of trying to crown our, our, you know, WR champions. And now, you know, in a blink of an eye, we're back in the middle of things, back in playoffs. Well, if you're a competitive team, that's what you want to hear because that UPA event's coming up quick, and if you win any of these events, whether it be WR, MPBA, or ADBA, that's all UPA sanctioned, you can get in. So the more that we can get in for the guys, the more guys that have the possibility to get in. And as you've seen on the timeline in Spaces chat today, Ev was talking it up and letting everybody know we're moving as fast as we can to get everybody in to get the best event possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Again, so for the WR side of things, uh, season 30 on PlayStation, season 21 on Xbox. So if you do the math, the 50th anniversary is currently taking place here at WR. Exciting times, and obviously we won't forget about those about to lock in for WR Select, but we'll save that for next week. Let's live in the present here because we've got champions in the building here with us. I had a huge blast last night, and again, a thank you to those countries that participated and stopped by, but I am just as equally excited to hear from who we have today. For those that aren't aware, this is day two of our FIBA special here at WR Weekly, where we host various gold medal winners from the past FIBA Open 3 tournament. This tournament, man, it keeps growing every single time FIBA throws one of these out. This last event that our very own producer, Coach J2K, commentated in had a ridiculous record-setting 60 nations compete in this, right? 60. Ev again, every time it keeps coming out, it gets bigger and bigger. Um, and it's, it's fantastic because, in my opinion, it really opens up the North American community 
to you know a bigger world a bigger platform and if you're comp you you want to play the best in the world so let's introduce our guest now joining us from over six thousand miles away is team egypt winners of the africa winner winners of the africa conference uh originally we had two players joining us tonight but due to internet connections we'll roll with one and that's booty booty thank you for making it yeah thank you man it's been an honor also we've got all the way from saudi arabia our middle east champions our middle east conference champions we've got fofo and joining him is i ran how are you guys great how are you good as well yes i'm good thank you that's awesome. I'm doing great. Again, excited to kind of have you guys. And last but not cert or last but certainly not least, our EU champs uh, from the EU conference on current gen. Russia is in the building. It's their coach, Step Kerr, and his center, I believe, and finals MVP as well, Tiger. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Thank you for invitation, Hello. guys. Hello. Perfect, perfect. Again, jam-packed show. There are a lot of winners in the room, so we're excited to kind of pick your brain. Of course, we'd love it to kind of be as free-flowing as possible, but let's do a little bit of a warm-up question here. Uh, Egypt, we'll start with you. Um, one thing we enjoyed hearing about last night, uh, Abudi, it was just everyone's experience playing in the FIBA competition, just in general. So for yourself kind of walk us through what it was like to represent your country on an international stage it's obviously great to represent egypt on a big competition like fiba um it's uh, our first year uh, as well mm -hmm. um, so it's been it's been an honor to play on a big stage like this um yeah, it's it, it felt fantastic as well playing in the uh, in these games. Felt different uh, from playing normal two K. Yeah. So it's 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 been it's been great to be honest. That's awesome. Ru Russia, guys, you know, coach, uh, Tiger. Was it the same for you guys as well? Like how, you know, I I've never had the privilege, right? But how cool was it to put on your country's colors and and then also win gold? Yeah, it was uh, really great because um, the second FIBA we didn't show our uh, best because we uh, even didn't make the playoffs. So we really needed to come back to show that uh, it was just um, uh, one fail, uh, not our real skill. And also for me, it was really amazing to work as a coach because um, it was my first experience. I knew that I'm good in uh, 2K, that I know a lot about 2K because I played as a PG a lot of years and played play online tournaments uh, in Europe. But uh, the decision that our officials in Russian community made to um, try me as a coach was uh, first in my life and it was really great. I think um, I was good at it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't get any better that, than first place in your conference. Yeah. Tiger, you, um, you know, you're, you're you're the finalist MVP. Were you part of the first attempt that Russia had as well, or were you just joining the team for for this one? And and again, how was your experience? Uh, this is my first experience with uh, my national uh, team, and uh, I. Without our coach, Sepke, we have done this work. We, uh, uh, I think, um, uh, uh, the semifinals or something. But with him, with his help, uh, just uh, push forward and uh, get this W. And of course, he helped a lot uh, in some. Uh, Offense plays, defense, uh, with some advice, and uh, of course, uh, my MVP finals. It's uh, just uh, part of his job, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure if we had just maybe a little bit of audio issues there. I I caught most of it, um, but I'm not sure if any of you guys were were receiving the same issues as I was. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah we did, time. but uh, it was understandable. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Um, perfect. Now, again, moving to Saudi Arabia, <laughs> moving to Saudi Arabia. Um, how was it for you guys? What you know? What went? I guess really, the the big question for me is what went through your mind when you first found out that this was like even a possibility, like playing playing two K for for your country. <clears throat> first of all, I want to thank you for having me and Ryan here. Uh, second, yes, of course, it's uh, been an honor for us to represent our country in a big tournament like uh, FIBA. And we played uh, in three versions of FIBA tournament opening, one, two, and three. And we take it all as the champion. So, of course, we are happy and we want to bring more for our country, like this tournament. I have a question though. Like this, this is a general question though. Like just thinking about 2K on a global scale, right? Just most of us, most of us outside of 2K and FIFA, like do you ever, did you ever think you would have the opportunity to represent your country in something as big as FIFA? Like, so just like the think about 2K on a global scale and how much is growing, how much the community is growing because like, I couldn't fathom like people in Egypt playing 2K the same way we do, you know, and then watching you guys just like, bro, it's like the communication, the everything, just, you know, it, it's just so crazy how global it is. And <laughs> it, it goes back to UPA for me, just, you know, that one true champion, because it may be a team from Egypt that's better than all the ones over here, you know? So it, it's a crazy, it's a crazy thing to think about. And I'm just so happy that, uh, how I'm happy, like I said, how the community's growing and how FIBA's growing. It's just a general, I'm sorry, guys, it's just a general statement. I'm just happy. I'm in a really good place with the community right now. I, I love it here <laughs> right now. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's a great question. And I guess I'll kind of redirect it to you here since we're, we're, we're with uh, uh, all of you. And I guess I'll start with Ray in here. Um, again, just like, did you ever imagine that this could be even like a possibility and then you did you am i correct me if i'm wrong but you guys won not just this one but the previous ones as well three times yeah in a row three times in a row right oh, so like the East champion. <laughs> yeah so like that's 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 huge so like just talk about like i know i'll get x to touch on that three p yeah. a little bit later <laughs> but uh again just i'll give you an opportunity since you haven't okay. gotten one yet just talk talk to us about you know just maybe walk us through that day you first found out okay this is a possibility and then walk us through the moment where you're like whoa you know we're the best in the country yeah or we're the best in the region first of all uh remember a few years ago like about 2k14 2k15 all Arabs, like, not, not especially Saudi Arabia, most of Arabs only play in this game, like, as an individual, you know. If you play in 2K as an Arab guy, you have to meet or to get to know one or two friends, not Arabs, if you know what I mean. You need the English, though, yeah. to play, to enjoy the game, if you know what I mean. But the past few years, especially like 2K20, maybe, 2K19, this community, this society, the Arabic society, has grown up so bad in just a few like a short period of time, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like now we have a really big community that each one is trying to prove himself to be the best. As such a country as Saudi Arabia, we have a lot of good players, great players. And representing a country such as Saudi Arabia, which is a great honor, is a dream for each individual. So when you be at this position, if it's possible, you have to prove everyone that's you the best, you know what I mean? So. That's what we have to do, and that's what we did, actually. That's why Saudi Arabia is the three times champion of the Middle East. You know All right, I mean? go, go ahead, X. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> He's queuing you in, basically. <laughs> yeah. You know, being, being the three-time champ, that, that's pretty exciting right there. Now, now, let me ask you this. Yesterday, we ran into a team that was flooding people about from 50 to, to 100 per series, something like that on an average. What, what were your numbers? How were you doing? Were you flooding your competition? And what was the, what was the gap? About by 20, 30, 10? Was it close game? Uh, yeah, but not at the end. At the end, actually, we smashed. I mean, I mean, I don't know how to say this, but all teams we faced are good, actually. But we train. We do training. We do a lot of things to get ready for like a competition like this. I mean, you're you representing a country, after all, not like a pro-om or comp team, if you know what I mean. 
Well, you know, that's let what me, it let, me, let me yeah, ask please. you another question right now. Take your Yesterday, time. One of the bigger things that came up that really uh, got my attention is, you know, uh, people play with delay, lag. Yeah. It's international. <laughs> imagine, so, imagine we not with lag. Just imagine. No, I, I know. I, I don't have uh, a lag as bad as you do, but here in America, I play on the West Coast, and, yeah. and trust me, it's nothing nice. And I know the disadvantage between the not just the timing of the shot, but being yeah. behind a second than the other player. The other player gets to move a second quicker than you. He can beat you to spots, things like that. Exactly. So you got to outthink them, and I get that. So one of the things that a team came up with yesterday that they used to uh, negate that was the five out. What's what's your guys' meta in Saudi Arabia? You guys are pick and roll. Do you look to throw the dots? Or you got a dominant point guard? What's your meta? Look, we play as a team, if you know what I mean. Because as in as a country in the Middle East, especially Saudi Arabia, we don't have any surfer near us. That's the thing. I mean, as a country in Europe, you have the European surfer, if you know what I mean. But in yeah. the Middle East, there is no surfer in this game, which is too hard, actually, for us. But the thing is, as not as a Saudi Arabia national team, no, as uh, teams in Saudi Arabia, there is just Tigers, Try to Escape, XO, Asma NBA. There is a lot of teams actually participating in such a big European leagues, and they're doing fine, even though they are with legs. If you know what I mean. So it's really hard, but we're trying to do like playing like normal as possible. If you know what I mean. So when we play in a European league, we play with pick and roll. We play five out sometimes. We play. As good as it needs to be, if you know what I mean. You need yep. to be competitive, so you need to play as the best teams are playing right now, if you know what I mean. Even <laughs> though it's lag, but I like it. Our best. I like it. He <laughs> you said no excuses. We got to get it done. We're going to do what we got to yeah, do. I, know, I know like it. I mean. <laughs> there are no that's, excuses. <laughs> that's why like Saudi Arabia is the best three times in a row, if you know what I mean. That's the good mentality we need. That's awesome. Ru Russia, kind of moving to, back to you guys. Um, and, and Coach and Tiger, please definitely chime in. Um, just talk a little bit about just the EU scene, right? Um, obviously, there is a lot. Every year the NBA 2K League comes up, there's always talk about, you know, players being represented from the EU scene. Talk a bit about, you know, what that community looks like and and then where Russia kind of stands within that community. Like, what is what is the plan moving forward? You guys are defending champs now in your conference. And, you know, what's the plan now to take that next step? Because you're, you guys are now being hunted. Yeah, I have to start uh, from our um, uh, conference. It is current gen, just because uh, not um, a lot of people in Russia have uh, PlayStation 5 already. Mm -hmm. because the prices are really high and uh, uh, there are not a lot of PS5 in our country right now, but we really think and we really hope that we all will uh, have it for uh, 2K22 and we will be able to compete against the best European uh, teams because, uh, you know, if you just watch to the list of participants, you can see that... Um, Karanjan um, didn't have all the best countries. I mean, a gold medal is great, but um, uh, we are not best in Europe. We're just best on Karanjan. So we really want to compete against Spain, against France, against Great Britain. Uh, mm. We we will see um, in one day uh, to Kilik start where Ave Maria and Guna will compete. Yes. Guys from <laughs> Europe are already showing uh, their skills. And also I'm sure that uh, some Turkish uh, players are ready for Turkey League, but maybe problems with with the visa or their English is not that good. But I mean, in playing 2K in their skill, uh, in my opinion, they're better than uh, a lot of 2K League players. So I'm sure that Europe will grow, will improve, and uh, will show that um, 2K is not about US. It is about uh, the whole world. Yeah, that's aw awesome to hear. X Perry, anything to kind of chime in? Because that was that was I love I love the energy, and it was it was like this yesterday, man. Like X can kind of attest to it. Just the how big 2K can possibly get, right? You think bigger, you think bigger stage, bigger lights, bigger platform, bigger prizes, bigger everything. The, the thing I like about what he just said was like. He's saying he wants to compete against the, the best players in the world. Like, he wants to compete against the, the best countries. And it's like, 
respectfully, we don't have that. We don't have that sometimes here in the U.S. Like especially in, in modern program, in, in amateur program, we have the best guys teaming up to try to create a dominant super team and whatnot. You don't really have that competition side where you have like over there. From what I from what I can see, just outside looking in, they want to compete, and and I know sometimes we lose that on the American side where we just want to team up. We just want to win. We do whatever it takes to win, but they don't care. They just want to compete. And I love that. And, and I feel like that's, that's, a, that's a good place for the community can be, to be. Like, it's competition everywhere, every side of it. Yeah, that's awesome. And while we're here with Russia um, and Booty, I'll get to you next here afterwards. But Tiger, right, it, just kind of talk about you know what like what are what are your goals obviously you you've played for russia now this is your first time you got the gold medal you know what's it feeling like to have to cuz this time around you came in to just try and win next time around you're going to have to go in to defend you know what's yours and defend your throne talk a little bit about that um my goals for the next season just grind grind and grind uh because yeah. in next generation uh there are going to be a lot of great teams, uh, a lot of great countries with uh, really good skill. And uh, uh, like I said, Step Care, we won current gen, but huh, some countries like Spain, Turkish, it's really good. And we need to a lot of train and uh, hard work to get this FIBA. Of course, of course. Very, very modest for a finals MVP, by the way. Um, go, going back to you, you Booty, um, again, really kind of, you know, what, what's the next step for the, the Egypt, you know, the Egypt program, right? Um, you guys are gold medalists now. Uh, just talk a little bit about what you envision for the future of, of, of that team. And then also a little bit about, you know, your conference and, your, and, and the community that you're in. In Egypt, we are looking to like to expand the community of 2K players because the, uh, at the moment uh, there is not that much of, uh, of players. Like uh, when we started, we didn't know like uh, in our team we didn't know some of us didn't know each other, so um, we just uh, clicked on uh, very quickly in the trainings and stuff. We didn't have really? a lot of time to train. It's our first time to play competitive 2K. Uh, tournaments uh, and to be uh, in a big tournament like FIBA, it's 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 um, it's great and a great experience to be honest. Um, so yeah, as I said, uh, we are looking to expand the community of 2K players. We are looking to uh, have more talents because, as I know, uh, there are many talents in Egypt that uh, need to be found now. Um, and after we won it, uh, so many people started to buy 2K to get interested in 2K. Nice. So yeah, as I said, um, we are looking to expand the community. We're uh, looking to organize more like five v five tournaments in Egypt, so like 2K leagues. So uh, yeah, I hope we get many numbers because at the end it will uh, be the best for the for the national team or better players. To show the what they can uh, do, and um, the African Conference, I was uh, surprised to know that there are so many teams. It it wasn't like many te so many teams, but uh, like teams like Ivory Coast, Gabon mm -hmm. teams like like I, we didn't know that they played two K to be honest. Just as uh, you didn't think that Egypt played two K. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't know there were 60 other countries that could lock in and, and yeah. put, put a team on, right? I, I'm sure you guys didn't think there were 59 other teams as well. Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Uh, and um, for me, it's been a uh, really good experience because that's my first year playing 2K. I have no previous experience, so for me to be... To get the uh, the game this year and be in the Egyptian national team and win with it the uh, African Conference it's it's been a really good journey to be honest for me because um but to be honest I, I it wasn't uh, that difficult for me because I have that winning mentality from other games I play yeah. competitive FIFA I won the world championship with Egypt twice oh, two, two sport <laughs> two sport guys <laughs> so um, 
for me the 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 winning mentality of the comp games it's there right and for for some of the other guys as well uh so it wasn't that easy to have the chemistry between us um yeah for to be honest it was a great journey for us in egypt and uh was really happy to have uh, so many teams from africa to compete with us as well so many great teams as well that like i didn't know they could be this good on 2k mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh i i think we have to like de- i think we have to move on to the next stage of this interview because i love booty how you mentioned you know it's just if you're a comp player you have to have that winning mentality and so i know this is on x's mind i know this is on perry's mind on perry's mind as well because he kind of alluded to it already but you know we're obviously here to celebrate your recent accomplishments right but in focusing at the present at hand, we cannot help but be excited about the future and what's to come. And we talked about this on yesterday's show, but the idea of one day playing in a, maybe like an Olympics LAN event or a UPA uh, type of event where we find one unified champion across the globe, obviously there are, uh, you know, complications and issues that come with that online server issues delay it's not really realistic but let's just play make believe and pretend here for a second and and any of you guys can kind of jump in but what would it be like to kind of be all together and have all of the best countries competing live in a LAN event like how how would you guys kind of approach that and i i guess i'll start here with 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 step kerr here with russia yeah i think it would be um, amazing it would be awesome because um, uh one of the global problems of 2k now is that uh, russia can't compete against us mm. france can't compete uh, against us so uh, it is lagging and uh, the, this thing that really needs to be discussed uh, i mean by ronnie or by uh, other <laughs> turkey workers yeah uh, because really really we really need to compete uh, from all over the world not just uh, usa against uh, dominicana republic mm-hmm. or um, other teams from that continent uh, and just against uh, Europe, because uh, I am really sure, I want to repeat it, that uh, some European countries have um, a really good skill to uh, play close game, at least, against the best uh, to kill players, or even to win them. So we really want um, this thing one day, uh, where all countries can compete against other all countries without any uh, lagging and problems with the uh, servers servers so i hope it will be yeah and obviously like again staying here with russia tiger right as a as a as a finals mvp i'm sure you're kind of curious i know you respectfully kind of brought up that you guys are on current gen and you guys have a lot of training to do still but I'm sure you have to be at least thinking about how you stack up with with all the other countries in different conferences. Uh, um, I think uh, this uh, global tournament is uh, go- going to happen in the future. Uh, it's really good case for all team to represent their skills, but uh, there is. Uh, also a problem about Hello? You're, cut, you're cutting out <clears throat> yeah, yeah yeah i can't listen to him as well okay okay if he comes back we'll we'll, we'll come back but just a kind of a, a quick turnaround here fofo uh ran um what would it be like like how wild would it be to you know have five monitors on one side five monitors on the other side yeah. and then hearing you know your 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 team communicating to each other you know in your native tongue and then hearing another team on the other side of the table communicating you know in their language how 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 crazy of an experience would that be of course this is, will be the dream for all the 2k professional players uh we want to compete uh, against each other 
not only for the like Middle East or Africa. No, we want to compete against the uh, Europe teams and we want to compete against US like this. So, of course, it will be a dream for us to compete against each other. But, you know, because the COVID-19, you can't travel, yeah. you can't go anywhere. So it's hard for us now. But uh, I hope in the future we can uh, can say it, uh, we can play like this in the, in the future. Yeah. I mean, right now it's, it's, a, it's a dream, but hopefully one day it becomes a reality. Yeah, uh, yeah of course. And you know what? Let me let me jump in here, guys. And this is a question for everybody. And uh, I I want to get everybody's take on this. So I'm just gonna kind of let, let let's start with. Uh, let me see who we got here. Rayan. Yeah. Let, let let me ask let me ask you this. Do you do you watch the NBA 2K League? Uh, I just started watching it because I just got interested in it because as a, uh, as a Saudi Arabian community, we didn't know about there is an NBA 2K League, which is a lot of good. Pro arm teams participate in. We just started participating like uh, one year ago at the European leagues. If you know, we just started and did a really good thing. So, uh, in Fiji, and, and, CA, and that, but not and NBA. That, and that's the thing. That's that's the thing right there. Is we you, the fact that it's spreading and, and and everybody's starting to get to know each other. Like everybody's got their own crews. You know, just because everybody's like like uh, like Coach Coach Kerr said over here. He said, you know what? It's not all about the USA. We all got our camps. We all got our countries. We all are doing our own thing over here. And 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 you know what? We don't even know what a USA is doing over there. We don't even yeah. care what they're doing over there. We've got <laughs> basketball going on a year. It's competitive. We know how good it is. And you know what? Guys get mad on Twitter. They get mad on the timeline. They got big egos about, you know, who's this, who's that. Sometimes you just don't know, guys. Hey, I'm sorry. I don't know you. We're balling. We're doing our thing. And you know what? I like that attitude, man. And I can see that all the international con- countries have that, and I respect that in a in a really big way. Uh, uh, Coach, do you guys uh have a a a two K league presence over there? Are you guys aware of the two K league? What are you guys watching in any way? You asking me, yeah? Yes, Kurt. Yeah, yeah, uh, we're watching it. Um, but not uh, every Russian two K player uh watches it, but. I think that all uh, team Russian national team members uh, watched uh, all seasons. I mean, the first one where Hotshot and Dimes were shining, a uh, crazy final against New York from Miami and uh, other things. The second one, we were all hoping for Mama. I'm that man. I don't know why, but he is the uh, uh, most liked player uh, from Tuki League in Russia. So yeah, we know about Tuki League. We watch, uh, we train our dribbling from off, uh, off up and uh, BP. So we just watch those guys and uh, try to uh, repeat things and even do them better. So for sure we watch it. And, and throwing it over there to Booty. Booty, do you guys watch a uh, bunch of 2K League over there? Are you guys aware of it? Uh, to be honest, I didn't know that um, there is a 2K League because um... Like I'm speaking uh, of myself, um, this is my first year of uh, playing 2K, so there's a lot of stuff going on uh, in 2K, uh, a lot of comp stuff that mm-hmm. I didn't know uh, that could be there. Uh, I just heard about it from a friend like uh, a week ago or so. Uh, he, he he told me just to check about the 2K league, and I find it uh, I find the concept uh, interesting to be honest. So yeah, for myself, I didn't know about it just recently. I uh, I found out about it. And yeah, that's very interesting how, how you know, we, you, you know, like, like Coach said, we get caught up in the USA thing, but it's a world sport. It's really a world sport. And yesterday when I inter, uh, interviewed some of those guys from FIBA, even me, myself, realizing, hey, you know what? These guys, you can see it in guys' eyes when they got it, when they got the love for the game, when they're passionate about it, when they care about things. You can see it when you look in their face and, you know, looking at, the international faces yesterday and today it it's nice to know that everybody with with these different backgrounds different countries different nationalities and we got one thing all in common that we love you know and there's just so many things like that in the world that are like that you know it's important for us to focus on that as a globe you know to to really look out for your human brothers and 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 realize that we're more the same than different 
and how much this game we love, you know? And, and uh, you know, that's just a beautiful thing to see. And I'm glad to see that everybody's out there just enjoying the game just like we do, just like you guys do. And, and that's great to see. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. And, and then uh, I, I love hearing that Mama, uh, I'm that man, and, you know, has a, a really big, really big following uh, there in Russia. He's uh, that 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 point three point, point three sponsorship is going to have to kind of dip into that pool. Um, before we let you guys go, I think one thing that we have to do um, in celebration of of each and every one of your accomplishments is, you know, in in the spirit of continuing to inform and educate us over here about what you guys have going over there. Um, one by one, uh, I guess we'll start here with uh, Russia uh, and, and Tiger and, and Curry. You can kind of walk us through it. But tell us about your team in general, the team that won the gold medal, because all of you guys, we couldn't have every single player be on the show. So for those that aren't, for the players that aren't here, for your teammates that aren't here, walk us through who's on the team, Give us maybe a, a little, you know, a few lines on each each and every one of them and why they're a special player. And then maybe also talk about your conference in general. Yeah, I, I will say a little bit and then uh, Tiger will add if he will want to. Um, I will start from our squad. Mm -hmm. We have a um, uh, really dominant PG, uh, Big Baby Mish. I mean, his uh, passing IQ is... Uh, really great i mean um in my opinion one of the best uh, in europe he is now competing in the next gen already uh not uh, a lot of russians have it as i already told said um but he was um invited to the team uh all uh, fiba esports um tournaments uh, first one second one and the third one and he struggled a bit in first and second one because all attention uh, of opponents diff comp games was uh, to him and um, he sometimes couldn't just, um, just uh, show his best skills and that's why we invited um, uh, shooting guard new one for this uh, FIBA, it, it is God of Future. Um, he has um, the same um, build as Big Baby Mish. He is a uh, playmaking shot creator. So we had the two point guards. Um, they are not similar in game style, but uh, they both really can, um, can kill. <laughs> so um, uh, when Misha struggled, we had the Yulcha who said, okay, uh, I will um, run uh, this game and uh, lead our offense. Misha, you can stay and just um, green your open shots. And <laughs> they were switching each other. So it worked really nice. Uh, as yeah. for our lockdown, uh, we had the Panth Panther. Uh, it is um, Misha's teammate in our pro -am team because we had a squad from different pro teams, but Misha and pa uh, Panzer is like a um, dynamic duo in Russia, mm -hmm. Lockdown and uh, PG. So he is the best in Russia. And um, I don't know, I don't know if uh, you watched our games. I think no, but uh, if you watched it, uh, you could see his face. He is always smiling. Uh, he has really great energy. Even if we're losing by 20, he is uh, okay. Let's go, guys. We will come back. So it really helps. That's awesome. Tiger, just any final thoughts on, on, on your squad and, and what makes uh, Russia so special? Um, uh, I think in our squad, uh, one important uh, person, uh, it was a power forward, uh, Kazaski Geni. Uh, uh, he was uh, literally uh good in defense and help uh, a lot on the rebounds and just uh when i was in the offense i just uh, could score and uh, mm, uh just 
set pick and rolls and do nothing on defense because of him. He just mm -hmm. a monster. <laughs> and I think uh, without him, uh, I couldn't get this uh, MVP because I need to struggle uh, because uh, I uh, would struggle in defense and uh, lose some uh, rebounds. Uh, this could be because we lose some games, but because of him, we just uh, run this defense, and I <laughs> thank him for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and again, you, you for a Finals MVP, you've been you know very modest and supportive of your teammates, so that's that's awesome to hear. Um, Booty, uh, kind of walk us through uh, what makes Team Egypt. Uh, so so great and and had such a dominant showing. Just kind of walk us through the through the roster and for those that can't be here tonight with us. So at the point guard we had uh, Killer Manor, our uh, ball handler. He was he was really great. Um, it was his show to be honest. He, I think he won the finals MVP as well. Nice. Every game every game he had like thirty to forty points uh, himself, but he could also pass. He had I think. Eight up to ten assists every game, so to score uh, all of these points and also play uh, with your teammates and give them uh, the free shots, uh, wide open shots. Uh, he is a really great player and for me the best um, point guard I played with, the best uh, guy to ball handle and also have the vision to spot the open guy. He is a really great uh, player, and at the one sec. Um, we had two lockdowns in Tahar and um, uh, Forgive Yasin. Uh, both of them really good uh, defensive players. Um, they helped us with so many stops on the on the defense and on the offense. When they got their uh, wide open shots, they didn't miss. So to be honest, they carried us uh, in the defense especially. Um, also, some of the best defensive uh, players or lockdowns I played with. Um, at the center, we had our uh, leader, our uh, Muhammad Yunus. Uh, to be honest, a great uh, center. He grabbed some of the most difficult rebounds I saw in the offense to help with uh, to help get us the free uh, threes. Uh, also, the chemistry between him and uh, our point guard with the screens and the slips. So uh, it was it was great playing with them. Uh, the chemistry. Uh, I don't know if you uh, saw our games, watch our games, but the chemistry was there. Uh, you could see it. Um, so it's it's been great playing with uh, with these guys. Also the guys that uh, didn't play as well. They are uh, really good players, uh, but they didn't have their chance unfortunately. But maybe in the future we can see what they have. What they have been. Uh, Phenomenal. And, and one thing I just kind of have to want, need to bring up, right? Russia with their double ball handlers, right? Um, that, that, that safety valve that to kind of release pressure off the initial guard. And then, you know, here with Egypt, you guys are running double locks, right? So just, again, we got a, a mixture of cultures, mixture of languages, and then a mixture of styles on the court. Last but not least here, uh, Saudi Arabia, Fofo, Rayan, walk us through uh, your team and 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 just kind of walk us through the recipe of a three-time gold medalist. First of all, I want to thank you guys for having us representing Saudi Arabia, me and Fufu, the captain of Saudi Arabia's team. Uh, second of all, who the guys who won are really great. They did really great job by like honoring Saudi Arabia by representing for three times. Mm -hmm. We have like Maher as an MPB twice in a row. He's a really good point guard. I mean, he's doing great. I mean, in two editions, you only in the MVP. That's by itself means something. You know what I mean? And also, all the other great players who participated in the last versions and this version as well. You have I'm sitting all day as Hadi. You have X Men as Ali, Fufu up here, which is Ochiha, the great center of all time. Also, <laughs> uh, Ahmed Ghazi, and I can't remember all the them. Sam and Rayek as well. There is a lot of good players, but what actually crowned Saudi Arabia as the three times champions is the mentality of the Saudi Arabians, as you know, because everyone was supporting Saudi Arabia. All the other comp guys and in the community, the Arabian community, 
always thinking about one goal that's get Saudi into the championship, you know what I mean? To be the champions, no matter if you're playing, if you're supporting. We had a lot of like big organization in Saudi Arabia, it's AFIC, it's, uh, Saudi basketball as well. All that stood up together to get Saudi as the champions, you know what I mean? No matter what we need to do, we just got to do it done, if you know what I mean. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. I, I love kind of, again, it's obviously, I, I think Perry, myself, uh, X, I, we would never claim to be experts on, on anything outside the North American scene. And so for you guys to even just give us a little bit of insight, just a tiny peek into what makes you guys tick. And because you guys are, are champions, you know, as much as any other champions we know. So that's fantastic. Uh, before we kind of let you guys go, X, Perry, any final thoughts or questions for these gentlemen? I just want to say uh, thank you guys so much for coming on. It's been an amazing interview. Uh, just keep doing what you guys are doing. Uh, we'll be watching. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at IL, uh, Perry IL, just so I can keep in contact with you guys. Uh, and, yeah, but it, this has been an amazing interview. I want to thank you guys so much. I'm, I think I think uh, earlier Chris said it was like midnight over there or something like that. So just for you guys to stay up and chat with us is amazing. Uh, once again, I'm just excited to where the community is, especially on a global scale. So once again, thank you on behalf of WR and myself and the guys. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if X or uh, Chris want to say anything else. X. Yeah, I just, I, I just want to tell you guys congratulations. You know, uh, the highest honor in the world is being a gold Olympic champion, and you mm -hmm. guys have reached that. And and I just want to give you a congratulations. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and be following your guys' career too because you guys just like the guys from yesterday. I realized that we got a lot of talent out there, a lot of good people out there, and I want to learn from you guys and, and continue to, to grow just like anybody else. So congratulations on your gold medal and going forward with your guys' individual programs. Fantastic. Fantastic. And, and again, uh, they already said it, but thank you to each and every one of you. Uh, obviously, this show doesn't happen without you guys, and, and this show was – you know, we, we thank everybody that showed up yesterday, but this show was very tricky in terms of making sure we got you guys on because it is very late over there. Um, but I, I just wanted to say, you know, one final thing, uh, the NBA 2K League, the North American scene that we have right now, um, it can take that next step because of you guys. Um, when we look at other esports, yes. uh, you know, League of Legends, yes. call, you know, Counter-Strike, uh, yes. All these, yeah, all these popular esports, they th it took off because the world plays it right, and yes. so yeah, you guys kind of doing your thing and 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 getting involved and 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 just kind of being proud about what you do and spreading you know information and spreading love about the two K league game or and just the NBA two K game in general, um, you know it benefits you guys, but trust me when I say this, it, it benefits us. So I will definitely also be following you guys. And Chris, let me just butt in on one more thing. And coach, coaches, you should get your ears up. Uh, we we want to see all that good talent because we're going to come steal it, y'all. We're going to bring it over <laughs> here to America. We're going to pay these kids some money, and we're going to bring them in, and you're going to love it. You're all going to love it. No, just yeah. kidding, but congratulations, and good luck, fellas. Yeah, and and you guys know, so, right? Yeah, you guys know, right? The NBA, it, it's – they it, the the league promotes itself as an international sport. And so Absolutely. the NBA 2K League is, 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 is right behind there. It's right in line. So thank you guys and congratulations again. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. All right. So that does it for us here on WR Weekly, the conclusion of our double header, our first ever one, a big FIBA special. Obviously, we're, as soon as FIBA opened four hits, I'm definitely going to be paying attention. I hope you guys as well. Um, the NBA 2K League kicks off tomorrow too. So very exciting time in the NBA 2K community. And when I say that, I mean worldwide. On behalf of Perry, on behalf of X, and on behalf of the countries that we have here tonight, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and Russia, I'm one-on-one -on -one Chris. Thank you, Coach J2K. This is WR Weekly. We will see you guys next week. Have a good Peace. night. Have a good morning, wherever you guys are in the world.